Hello. In this example, we're going to complete task 27. Task 27 says backport task 25 to RTC 3011. We can see I have set up a repository workspace which flows with RTC 3011 and that we have no incoming or outgoing chain sets. If I click on task 25, we can see that there's one chain set that we need to backport. Before backporting, let's verify it does not exist in RTC 3011. We can do so by right clicking and selecting locate chain sets. We can then add the RTC 3011 stream and the result column will indicate that zero out of one chain sets are included. So this means it's not backporting. To backport something, we need to accept it into a repository workspace before delivering it to a stream. So in this case, this indicates that there was a gap or that I don't have all the chain sets which led up to the chain set I'm trying to accept. In order to continue, we need to make a new chain set and merge in the changes. So I select OK. which point a gap editor is opened up. The top section shows the changes to merge. We can see the source change set here. This is the change set that I'm trying to accept. And then underneath that, we can see all the changes that I need to merge. So this says that two out of three changes are marked as merged. We can see the three changes here, one, two, three. We can also see that these two were automatically merged for us. So this one file actually had two changes. It had an encoding change and a content modification. If we don't want to see all the changes that are already marked as done or marked as merged, uh, we can actually hide them using this filter. Now we can concentrate on the work that we need to do. In this case, we need to perform a manual merge of a content modification. To do so, we can right click and we can open and compare editor, or we can double click on the node. In the compare editor, this column over here represents our local file, and this is the change set before state and the after state. So what we can see is that the before and after has modified a particular method that doesn't exist locally. So what I'm gonna do is copy it locally. I can click save, and we can see there's no incoming or outgoing lines, so we are done the merge. I can click close now. What we can see is actually that change was automatically checked into the outgoing resulting change set. So at which point, at which point we manually merged the file so we can say, we can click mark as done. Now we see three out of three changes are marked as merged. Now we can move to the bottom section, the resulting change set. We can inspect the changes if we wish. Um, so I could right click and I could go open a compare editor. And in this case, it's a two way compare, which shows the before and after and we can see that I've added one method. And that's expected because that's what I merged in. We can also right click on the change set and give it a comment. So this case would be back port of defect 25. We would also want to assign it a work item. So I'm going to assign this chain set to work item 27. There's also a checkbox down here. This says link the source change set and the resulting change set upon completion. So when I complete this, it will again warn me to say, are you sure you want to complete? Doing so will create a link. In this case, I do want to create a link. This is for traceability. So I'm going to click OK. And now I've completed the, um, the change set and then the merging. So now we can go back to the original change set and then we can ask ourselves the same question. Is it in RTC 3011? In which case it's not yet until I deliver it. So now let's go back and ask ourselves, locate chain site, is this in RTC 3011? So now we can see yes, one out of one chain site is included. So the interesting thing here, it's not the directly included, it's not the original chain set, it's not the chain set from 25, that is included. It's actually another chain set that's included indirectly. And so this is the semantically equivalent chain set that I created uh, during the merge exercise. So this completes the backboarding. We can see it's been backboarded. 